So then you can go into things like you can do some, the natural version of things that you would do would be the Dramamine ginger version. It's a non-medicinal, um, so it's an, it's an herbal way to help nausea and it just has ginger in it and ginger won't hurt the dog. So you can use the ginger version. Um, you can also use Dramamine. Um, and usually I'll suggest you check with your regular veterinarian about dosing and what they would recommend because, you know, I don't want to give a blanket statement about that because some dogs, it, it may not be appropriate for them to take. Um, and you mean Dramamine human version, yep. right? In mm-hmm. a smaller, yeah, that we get that mm-hmm. a lot. Like, can you, mm-hmm. yeah, give yeah. my and pet then you, animals? You can that. try Benadryl, but you have to be careful with Benadryl because Benadryl will help calm them down a little bit. But some dogs actually get over anxious on Benadryl. So you need to do a little test run, even Trazodone to get the dose right. You need to do a little test run before you start away on your trip. I'd probably do a short, you know, jaunt around the neighborhood or something just to see how they do. But, uh, you know, that would be something, again, you'd have to talk to your vet about to get something like that. But Absolutely. Yeah. And then car sickness, you can go a step further. There is a product called Serenia that you can get from your veterinarian that uh, is probably one of the best ways to control um, car sickness uh, because it blocks the pathway that tells them they're nauseous. So it, um, and it, the doses are very different for that type of thing. Some dogs may have gotten it because they've had stomach problems in the past. So people may recognize the name, but it's mm-hmm. it when you're using it orally for um, to prevent car sickness, there's a very strict protocol kind of timeline you have to follow to make sure it works the right way. So you just Got have it. to talk to your veterinarian about that kind of thing. Got it. Well, yeah. I'm gonna sign up for Hello Ralphie. Um, yes. Ask Dr. Kathy what you need. I mean, you can always get some dope dog on the side to kind of chill out as well, yeah, which is not exactly. o- which is well, over the counter. That's what uh, I was gonna say. The other thing is some some dogs do well with things like CBD. You know, so. Um, CBD is, uh, it's variable with dogs and just similar to Trazodone, it's hard to know which dog's going to get the best response from it. Mm-hmm. So again, you might need to do a tester with it at home to see what happens, um, you know, and do a little test run in the car, what happens mm-hmm. when you use it that way. And you might need to use it a couple days in advance mm-hmm. and then use it the day of, you know, and during your trip, that kind of thing too. Just so, because sometimes just one dose isn't going to do it. You need to kind of get a little bit of a bloodstream level going. Yeah, I agree. Every dog's different and experimenting ahead of time is always helpful. So you're ready for your your big trip. 